All right, folks, so today we're going to be doing a quick follow up on the GC Loader PMP install video that I put out a couple of months back. And today we're going to be installing the SD to SP2 SD card adapter. Now, what this little device will do is actually work hand in hand with the GC Loader and Swiss to allow you to do in game resets. So, the only things that you need to do this install are the SD to SP2 adapter and a micro SD card that's formatted to FAT32. Now I know that since most of you guys have already gone through your GC loader installs, you've had experience formatting memory cards to FAT32, so I'm not going to go through that again, but I will show you what files you need to drop onto the card. So let's hop over to the computer for a couple of seconds and I'll show you what you need. So over on your computer, open up the same folder that you downloaded when you were installing your GC loader with the boot ISOs and data in there. Once you're there, just open up the DOL folder and select the swiss.dol file. From there, you can click on the file to rename it and just rename it IGR. Once you're done doing that, all you need to do is copy that straight onto the root of the SD card. And we're all done on the computer. Next, we're going to grab the GameCube and the adapter itself and get this installed. So we'll start off by flipping over the GameCube here and you want to locate service port 2 which is on the front right hand corner of the console as you look at it from the bottom. Pop that cover off real quick and then grab the adapter and just insert that directly into the port. When you're installing the adapter just make sure that it is oriented the correct way. It does note on each side which side is the inside and which side is the outside. So the side with the SD card slot on it actually goes facing in towards the console. That part's super important. Once you've got the adapter in the service port, all you need to do is insert the SD card, or you can insert it before you put it into the machine. It's up to you. Once that's done, just replace the cover on the service port and you are done with possibly the simplest mod you will ever do. Finally, we've just got a couple of settings that we need to adjust in Swiss. So we'll boot the GameCube up real quick, get those taken care of, and we should be good to go. From the main menu, just hit the B button to open the bottom menu and select the settings option. And then in the first menu screen that pops up, just scroll down to in-game reset. You'll see that's currently disabled and change that to igr.dol. And then something I slipped up on the first time I was setting this up, go down one more to configuration device and change memory card slot A to SD card SP2 and then save and exit. Now we've made both of those changes, in-game reset should be set up. So I'm going to have a quick game and we can test it out and see how it works. Now here I am having a quick game of Radigy and I want to get back to the main menu. So all I'm going to have to do to do that is hit the B, R, Z, and the D-pad down, and it should take me back to the main menu. And there it goes. So that works like an absolute charm. Like I said, this is just a real short follow-up video, which I hope you guys have found helpful. If you have, please drop us a like and also consider subscribing. And don't forget to check us out on Twitter. Thanks for watching.